Today, we're diving into the latest trends in the housing market, focusing on the differing growth patterns between single family and multifamily construction. This information is based on the National Association of Home Builders, NAHB, Home Building Geography Index, HBGI, for the first quarter of T24. Key findings, single family versus multifamily. Single family growth, single family construction is on the rise across all tracked geographic regions of the United States. Despite higher mortgage rates, the demand for single-family homes continues to grow, driven by a lack of existing inventory and pent-up demand. NAHI Chairman Carl Harris notes, single-family construction expanded in the first quarter, with growth particularly concentrated in higher-density areas, as return-to-office trends boosted demand in inner suburbs. Multifamily slowdown. In contrast, the multifamily sector is experiencing a notable slowdown. Factors such as tight financing conditions and a significant number of apartments already under construction nearly 900,000, the highest rate since 1973, are contributing to this decline. Harris adds, this is the first time since the inception of the HBGI that all tracked multifamily geographic areas registered negative permit growth rates. Regional breakdown. Let's break down the HBGI data for the first quarter. Single family permits, total permits, approximately 240,500, a 23.8% increase from the first quarter of 2023. Market shares. Large metro core counties, 16.1%. Large metro suburban counties, 24.9%. Large metro outlying counties, 9.6%. Small metro core counties, 28.8%. Small metro outlying areas, 10.0%. Micro counties, 6.5%. Non metro micro counties, 4.2%. Multifamily permits. Market shares. Large metro core counties, 37.6%. Large metro suburban counties, 26.8%. Large metro outlying counties, 3.6%. Small metro core counties, 24.1%. Small metro outlying areas, 4.0%. Micro counties, 2.8%. Non metro micro counties, 1.1%. Insights and implications the strength in single family construction, particularly in higher density areas, reflects the ongoing demand for housing as people return to office environments. Townhouse construction is also seeing a boost, further indicating a preference for single-family living. Conversely, the slowdown in multifamily construction is more pronounced in higher-density markets. High levels of existing construction inventory, elevated costs, and tight financing are major factors impeding multifamily growth. Single-family homes are in high demand, making them a valuable investment. However, for those interested in multifamily properties, it's crucial to navigate the current market conditions carefully. What are your thoughts on the current trends in single-family versus multifamily construction? Are you seeing similar patterns in your local market? And how are you advising your clients based on these trends? Don't forget to like and comment. Stay tuned for more real estate tips and updates. H&E team are your forever agents to help you navigate this competitive market and achieve your real estate goals now and in the future. Until next time, happy house hunting.